Hello, new at 530. We investigate what happens with the thousands of complaints the city of Cincinnati's health department gets each year about unsafe or unsanitary conditions in apartments. A local 12's Christian Hauser shows us how effective the city is at actually getting the issues resolved and why just taking a picture or video isn't enough to get something done. Christian? Yeah, Adam and Megan, Wednesday we showed you how to get help if you're dealing with rats or bugs or mold in your apartment or rental home. Well, I wanted to know what the city of Cincinnati does to make sure those issues get fixed when renters are dealing with them. Here's what you need to know and how successful getting the health department involved can be. Cincinnati Health Department Environmental Health Director Antonio Young says the department receives all kinds of complaints from no heat, no water, mold, even insect infestations. How does the Cincinnati Health Department handle uh, renters' complaints, whether it's you know mice, mildew, or, or insects, that sort of thing? So we have to see it for ourselves, almost like a police investigation, because at this point it becomes sort of a legal uh, procedure. So verify the problem, we issue a written order, which is written documentation, or a written document to the owner stipulating you need to cure this problem or there'll be enforcement uh, constituted against you. Young says the department then follows up to make sure the issue is taken care of. He says the department received about 3,000 complaints last year. Of those, Young says roughly 95% are resolved just by the department telling a landlord to fix the issue. The others say 3%, uh, 3 to 4% are a little bit slower to comply, but they obviously do end up complying. It's only about one to two percent, which we have to do some type of escalated enforcement. On. What type of enforcement actions can you all take? If the landlord or owner is totally unresponsive, we could issue a civil citation. Um, that civil citation right now is a fine of about three hundred and fifty dollars, but we could issue it every day um, that a problem exists. Um, and it's pretty effective because obviously the landlord would want to apply that toward actually curing the problem rather paying the health department. Now, while the department must see the unsafe or unsanitary conditions in person, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take pictures or videos. Those can help show how long an issue's been going on and that you've reached out to the landlord. Also, make sure that you keep any documents or letters that you do send to your landlord, alerting them to the issue. Adam, back to you. Christian, thank you. We have all the information in Christian's story on our website, local12.com, but you can also get there faster using our app. Just search for Local 12 in the Google Play or Apple App Store on your phone or tablet.